Hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Karen Fernandez, and this is my podcast, Living with Integrity, Creating an Abundant Life. In episode one, I mentioned the in-between time. Today, we are going to go a little deeper into this in-between time. That is the place where we haven't fully stepped into the flow of a new cycle or chapter in our life's journey. We aren't where we started, but we also aren't experiencing the reality that we want to be. We are still practicing to co-create. I say practicing because it's a daily practice we are coming into to establish a new way of being and living. I also said co-create because we aren't achieving this on our own. Our manifestations are being co-created with and through God, which is our energy source and source energy. We began this journey of creating a life of abundance by stepping fully into integrity with our words, actions, and behavior. We started a practice of self-discovery and exploration. We stepped back to look at our lives and situations from a new perspective. We let go of old, outdated beliefs. We said yes to self, giving ourselves permission to invest time and energy on our personal well-being, because we are worthy of this. Happiness is not an end goal. It is not something to strive for. It's a byproduct of living a life of true authenticity and integrity. Happiness is the disposition we want to be in when we are envisioning and creating our life of abundance. When we start to make better use of our thoughts that we dwell on, it will come that much faster and easier. What we think we bring to us, negativity or positivity. It starts with our state of mind. A way to always come back to creating a space for abundance is gratitude. Gratitude calms the mind and soul and connects us to the truth. Focusing on gratitude helps to quiet those negative fear-based thoughts. When we let go of fear and stop looking at what isn't there and start practicing gratitude for what we have and what is to come, our temperament starts to change. Gratitude can help us in virtually any negative or unpleasant situation we are facing. So when we find ourselves in this in-between time, start pulling in gratitude for where you are and how far you've come. Make a daily gratitude list of 10 things you can be grateful for. Practicing gratitude daily can help change that default mindset that is always noticing what's going wrong or why it's taking so long. This in-between time is a time of pruning. Like a pregnant woman close to her due date or past it, it becomes a time of waiting. We did all we could or we are in the process of it. The in-between time is a time of spiritual strengthening. I like to call it a time of anchoring and stretching our roots deep into the earth so that nothing can shake it. This is where faith and trust are put to the test. That negative voice inside our head will try to tell us we aren't doing enough or doing it right, that it's taking too long or we're going to fail, making us think or believe that the past was easier and simpler, that we made a mistake or it will never happen for us. This fear can be crippling. This is where we get to choose to make an act of faith and trust. We can feel and be confident that we are doing our part, showing up daily in our lives. We are doing the work, spending time with ourselves, 
deepening our connection to ourself and to our Creator without distraction. We are mindful of others, considerate of their feelings and needs. We don't just look to please ourselves. We understand that service to others is the fastest way to fill ourselves up. Our needs naturally start to get met because we are giving and that energetic flow just naturally wants to flow back to us. More opportunities start to show up for us. Doors start to open. Alignments and synchronicities start happening. We get those God winks that let us know we aren't alone and things aren't random. The in-between time happens in all our lives, multiple times during our lives, because nothing stays the same. Change happens for everyone. Different reasons in different seasons of our lives bring in these in-between times. Like a caterpillar in a cocoon, we must go through these periods of growth, change, and transformation. We can go through it kicking and screaming and fighting the change, or we can embrace the change and release. It's an extraordinary chance to improve what we are experiencing in our lives. You may not feel inclined to change your life as drastically as I did moving across the country, but you may want to improve the quality of your life and how you are receiving things that come into your life. This in-between time is a time to practice feeling the emotions that we desire to feel in our day-to-day lives, as if we had the life that we were trying to manifest and create. Feeling fulfilled, safe, secure, satisfied, energized, peaceful, grateful, creative, If we had the life of our dreams, how excited would we be to jump out of bed and start our day? These are the feelings that we want to capture and to meditate on and to use in mental rehearsal as we see ourselves having the life that we desire. Hope is a supernatural virtue. St. Paul says we are saved by hope. For who hopes for what they already have and know? But what we don't have and don't see, that's what we hope for. Hope is that spark in our soul that gives us the drive and pushes us forward in our creativity, passions, and desires. Hope can transform every aspect of our lives if we let it. If we're open to hope, anxiety and fear are diminished in the light of hope. Doubt becomes confidence with the grace of hope. The human body is a single structure that is made up of billions of smaller structures of four major kinds, cells, tissue, organs, and the 11 systems of the body. Our cell tissue has memory and has a vibrational frequency. When we elevate our mind by using our God-given gift of our imagination for envisioning good, healthy thoughts of peace, harmony, prosperity, good health, and goodwill to all people, animals, and our planet. When we let these thoughts of love, healing, and abundance flow in our minds for ourselves and for all people, no exceptions, we elevate our brainwave frequency to gamma. Gamma brain waves have the highest frequency among all the brain waves. We are then in the zone. Gamma waves are associated with higher brain function like cognition and memory, higher levels of concentration, and it promotes higher states of well being. People tend to be happier and more receptive in the state of being. It seems so simple but it is hard to obtain for any long duration of time unless we work at it. Exercising that spiritual muscle may feel awkward at first, but once we get on a routine with it, our entire being, body, mind, and spirit start to become aligned and balanced. Taking just 15 minutes a day to sit in silence 
with music on or off, with thoughts and vision of all the good we want to call into our lives for ourselves, our family, friends, and the entire world. There is no limit to how positive and loving our thoughts can become. Imagine the impact on the world if every person began even a small practice of this. It would have a ripple effect because energy is transferable, transmutable, and transcendent. Our life force is connected directly to God. When we connect our thoughts to God in higher elevations, we connect to agape love. As we move into this gamma state, we will feel a closer union and connection to God naturally because of the frequency range we are in. Our creativity will flow in ways we never imagined. We will be energized and have enthusiasm. Our mental capacity will increase. This higher state of being is for all of us, no exception. We may all be different and unique, but we all have the capacity to connect to our source and develop a new way of being just by our human estate. To create a life of abundance, that abundance starts with our understanding. We have a creator that loves us beyond measure. Human love can't compare because we as humans are finite and God is infinite. Our creator is with us every moment of every day. No human being is capable to give another human being this type of care or attention. Even parents with newborns, they have to eat, sleep, work. God is that connection that is inside us and is focused on us, caring about us at all times. God loves us unconditionally and always. God is omnipresent and God's spirit is flowing in us and in our lives at all times. Blockages from hurts, wounds, losses, prejudices, or being narrow-minded, where we think our way is the only way. We won't feel that true connection, and we will notice the restlessness inside of us. Our hearts are restless until they rest in the Lord, St. Augustine. We usually look to fill this hole or restlessness with other material things. Sometimes we develop unhealthy attachments or addictions to what we put in the place that is reserved for our co-pilot. One of the most important truths that I've recognized from moving across the country alone to an area where I didn't know anyone is that my total dependency on God has grown. Or maybe it didn't grow any greater and just my awareness of my total dependency on God has grown. In this in-between time, as I go out and do the footwork to meet doctors for possible referrals for coaching clients as well as massage clients, I get to choose how I feel about doing this. Is it annoying, a bore, a hassle? Or can I look at it as an opportunity to lay a solid foundation? I enjoy meeting new people. Every time I meet someone, I have an opportunity to brighten someone's day even if it's just by being present and listening to them for a few minutes. People want and need to feel seen, heard, and to be connected to. When we start to see past, even our own wants, we can start to understand a little bit of the bigger picture and purpose to why we are here. The in-between time is a time of cultivating. Instead of feeling dread, worry, or continuing to pray, over and over again for something that God heard you the very first time you prayed, we can start thanking God, the universe, our higher power for it, as if we already received what we wanted. We have to stop doubting if we are worthy to have a better life, a fulfilling life, a satisfying life. That life doesn't always have to be a struggle and that we have to fight for what we want. Whatever you're looking to increase, grow, change, or let go, envision it and believe that you are worthy of it and see it 
coming to fruition. We use this in-between time to feel the emotions of already having what we want. We praise and thank God for bestowing all this abundance on us. Let yourself experience the emotions of what it would be like to have no financial worry ever again. Envision your health being at its best. Whatever you are striving for, feel those emotions now as if they have come into being. Let your body believe that it is in the experience already. And anytime those fears or doubts come in, bring praise and thanksgiving in over and over again to replace them. As often as we worry, start bringing in that gratitude, thanksgiving, and praise. It will almost immediately lift and help your spirit. It will definitely calm down anxiety and stress. When we do this, we are rewiring our neurons in our brain. Thoughts that fire together, wire together. I recommend meditating a couple of times a day if you are experiencing or in this in-between time. It doesn't have to be long. 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes at night. Periodically throughout the day, visualize and use mental rehearsal to play out your desired life in your mind's eye. Elevating our mood will put us in that state of being in the receiving mode. At first, we might not notice, but little things start coming to us. As we change the dial on our daily, everyday frequency of being, we start to enter into a new energy field. We will naturally feel better emotionally by not complaining, and as we pull in gratitude for all we have, we will start to experience the natural highs from the release of serotonin. We will start to enjoy our life and being in our own company a lot more. That is a gift in and of itself. We start to notice the type of people that are coming into our lives. They are more positive, friendly, and helpful. We start to feel the shift and see little gifts all around us. A great parking spot close to where we need to be or an item that we're buying at the store is reduced and on sale. There are many examples we can think of each day that we can be grateful for. When we shift our mindset, we can change our reality. There is no greater time to practice that mindset shift than in the in-between time. It's important to remember that this too shall pass. The in-between time doesn't last forever. It's a time of adjustment. We are forging something new. It's a good time to step back and enjoy this process because it's the present moment that we are in and living through, and that's where our creator and co-pilot is. This in-between time will soon fade away. We don't have to go through our life or these times white-knuckling it or feeling tremendous anxiety, fear, or doubt. The purpose of developing our personal relationship with our creator is to let go of the illusion of control, to surrender and know our creator is loving, omnipresent, omnipotent, and has a plan for us. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not disaster, to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29.11 As we build this relationship, it's a personal, unique journey for each of us. We begin to see the evidence of this love God has for us in our lives. Trust it is coming. Believe things will open up and start happening. Keeping our thoughts positive is not hard to do when we build up our gratitude. We can reframe our thoughts and think of the in-between time as a time of joyful anticipation. We can take this in-between time to develop a closer bond to our loving God. With trust and faith, this relationship can be built upon solid rock. If you would like a more personal, 
one-on-one -on -one coaching experience to help you cultivate and deepen your personal connection to the divine, contact me at coachingwithkaren.com. It will be my privilege to take you through a 12-week, 90-day program to help you elevate to a higher consciousness of living and a better, more satisfying state of being. The link to contact me through my website is located in the episode description. Tune in next week when we will talk about a Jesus consciousness and walking in the way of Christ, a universal Christ that is available to and for everyone, no exceptions. Thank you for listening.